I envisioned the type of man I wanted. I prayed for the type of man I wanted. And I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that uh, that I love. And we're having a really good time. And I'm enjoying life. So there is hope, women. Oh, <laughs> Look. I'm over here getting ready to go sign y'all some copies of Don't Forget Your Crown. You know, my book just dropped a couple of hours ago. And then I see the absolute biggest, bar none, display of casual disrespect I've seen all year in this woman's answer about how she envisioned a man and prayed for a man that God just failed to sin. I mean, I don't know about y'all. I can see in his face, he was thinking to himself like, yeah, with all my you know, supported this woman, all my loyalty and my faithfulness. I've been rubbing backs and sucking toes. I've been catering to her and speaking to the queen and her. I just know she about to bring home this answer with, you know what? I prayed for a man and God sent me an overabundance of all the things that I didn't even know that I wanted because he knew me better than I knew myself. And I couldn't have thought to ask for all that I got in this beautiful, amazing man that God blessed me with. But no, she said, not only did you not exceed my standards, you didn't even meet them. You fell short. And I've come to grips with that. So ladies, you can too. <laughs> I'm laughing because I got a messed up sense of humor. But for real though, it is not okay what she just did. And I saw hell of women in the comments talking about it wasn't that bad. She didn't mean no harm. She didn't intend to offend him. She was just being honest and no doubt about it. I do think she was just being honest. I also think she could have more carefully have chosen her words given the situation, you know, but I don't think she meant any malice. But let me just paint the picture for you. This is as bad as your man telling you, yeah, you do look fat in that dress. When you didn't ask him shit, Somebody else asked him. Matter of fact, he said this over the loudspeaker at the Super Bowl. <laughs> and now it's going viral for millions of people to watch. Actually, that's not even as bad. Because in that case, he would only be describing a physical characteristic that you can go to the gym. You can work off a couple of pounds of fat. Tina Knowles is describing this man's entire value to her in her life. Who he is now and who he has been in their marriage. I mean... Ouch. <laughs> Seriously, though, all jokes aside, I really hope on the way home, she apologized to this man, reiterated his value in her life and is willing to make up for it for the next couple of years, because that's about how long it's going to take for him to fully pick his face up off the floor and make some kind of effort to clean this up on national television again, because, man, that was bad. She laid his entire manhood, all his feelings on, on concrete. And then got into a bulldozer and put on a hard hat and protective wear glasses and just drove over it, flattened it out. Halfway through, he said, babe, uh, this hurts. This hurts. I'm right here. Ouch. <laughs> and she looked at him, then cut her eyes back to the camera, put her protective wear glasses back on, shifted in the drive and finished what she started. I mean, damn. 